psychologist and author Rachel Carson was born the youngest child of Roger and Maria Carson in the town of Springdale, Pennsylvania on May 27, 1907. Early on, Carson's mother, Maria, took a special interest in her daughter's education, instilling in her a profound respect of nature, including collection, observation, and safe release of specimen. Carson quickly outgrew her small hometown school, and her parents sent her to Parnassus High School for her junior and senior years. Following high school at Parnassus, Carson went on to major in biology at the Pennsylvania College for Women. She graduated with honors in 1929 while maintaining a strong relationship with her mother who continued to influence her education. While at the Pennsylvania College for Women, Carson befriended Mary Scott Skinker, who shaped Carson as a scientist. Following graduation from PCW, Carson went on to study at the Marine Biological Laboratory at Woods Hole for one summer before attending Johns Hopkins University. After earning her master's degree in 1932, Carson went on to publish Under the Sea Wind in 1941. The book, written from the perspective of sea animals, tells the plight of the underwater world. Her second book, The Sea Around Us, was published in 1951 and spent 86 weeks at the top of the New York Times bestsellers list. This is compared to her first book, which lost popularity due to the bombing of Pearl Harbor and subsequent U.S. involvement in World War II. Her third book, The Edge of the Sea, was published in 1955. In 1958, Carson received a letter from her friend, Olda Hutchins, from the Audubon Society, following a DDT spraying in New York and the effects it was having on the local wildlife. What began as a rejected Reader's Digest article became some of the most controversial scientific writing of the 20th century. Initially titled Man Against the Earth, Silent Spring was published in 1962. Carson successfully completed what her friend Dorothy Freeman called the poison book while battling metastatic cancer. Carson's research flew in the face of what the USDA would have the American public believe. The United States Department of Agriculture and other government agencies had the American public convinced that dichloral diphenyl trichloroethane was beneficial and would prevent hordes of invading insects from infesting and destroying American crops. Silent Spring consisted of sound scientific research supported by some of the greatest minds in science. This did not hinder criticism, however, and Carson drew much fire for her work. These attacks came from established sources, mostly chemical companies, and rarely attacked her science, but frequently attacked her gender. This was a hurdle she had, had to overcome her entire career.
Rachel Carson suffered a fatal heart attack on April 14, 1964.